Hey guys, today I'm just going to be telling you how to render your effects in your workspace. So here I'm actually halfway through doing another video, but I decided that while I'm doing this I might as well quickly give you this video as well. Uh, so here I'm just explaining how you speed up and slow down footage and a lot of the time when you do something like this it won't play properly as you can see there. It will play for a bit but then it will start lagging. Purely because this little red bar over here is red and that means it hasn't been rendered. So what we want to do is drag the yellow bar here, this is the mark in, and pull it so it attaches there. If your, if your bar does not attach with the black line that you see there, which it doesn't automatically snap to, come over here and there's a little snap tool and it's basically the shortcut is S, but it's like a little magnet. If I unclick it, you can see there, and then if I check it again, it's uh, back to snap. So what you want to do is you want to bring the first one in, that mark in, and then you want to bring the mark out from over here also to the end of the clip. And now anything within this little bar, it will recognize as something to render. So what you want to do is you come over the sequence over here in the top corner. You want to go down to render effects in work area. And that will just render everything within the mark in the mark out point that you've got there. And then you've just got this little rendering thing. This does not export it ready for anything like YouTube, but you'll see in a minute when I cut this out that the red bar will turn green and then it will be able to play without any lagging. Okay, so once you've done rendering, it will actually automatically play the video for you as it's done there. You also see, as I said there, the red bar has now turned green. Your video should be able to be playing without any lagging. So that's how you render just a little video footage clip within the actual program itself. The reason that programs like Premiere Pro and After Effects do this and you have to go through this uh, process to make sure that you can play it properly is purely because these are big programs and they require like a lot of power to make sure that they run correctly. And if you had that power with everything on your timeline, your, your computer or desktop, whatever, would go a lot slower. So it's just a way for the program to try and make your computer run a bit better. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time.